Tonight, the first pictures of the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait. It was almost a decade and a half ago when Iraqi troops took control of Kuwait. But what happened next is today eerily familiar. Then, as recently, men named Bush and Cheney denounced Saddam Hussein as a threat to the world and claimed they had proof. Top secret satellite photos from Cheney's Pentagon showing a quarter of a million Iraqi troops and 1,500 tanks massed along the border with Saudi Arabia, poised to invade. There was no reason to believe that the administration wasn't being candid about what was there. Uh, but we had a chance to find out, to test the theory, and we took it. Back in 1991, reporter Jean Heller was based in Washington. Through a stroke of luck, she learned about another set of high-altitude photos of Kuwait taken by a Soviet satellite on the very same day the Pentagon said there showed a quarter of a million Iraqi troops and 1,500 tanks preparing to invade Saudi Arabia. And what did that second set of images reveal? It's what it didn't show. It was more important. Uh, what you would have expected to have seen were tanks on the border. There were none. That, we could, that, that could be seen. There was nothing behind the border that could have supported that kind of number of troops and tanks. We've obtained copies of those Soviet satellite photos from September 1990. With powerful magnification, the photographs are detailed enough for experts to identify vehicles around the Kuwaiti oil fields. But in southern Kuwait, along the Saudi border, there are no Iraqi tanks to be seen whatsoever let alone 1,500 of them, just sand and wind. Not a sign of what Defense Secretary Cheney insisted were a quarter of a million Iraqi troops. It became a critical issue because it was, the administration convinced the Saudis they were, at imminent, they were in imminent danger and got the Saudis to invite the coalition to come in and defend them. And that's how we got involved in Gulf War I. Coincidentally, Jean Heller is also from Wyoming. As a journalist there, she had dealt with Dick Cheney for years. So she presented her evidence directly to his office at the Pentagon. I said, look, if you can prove to me that our story isn't true, we won't run it. And they just ignore us. When Kuwait was liberated, the issue disappeared. As for Cheney's top secret satellite images. They have never showed those photos. Not then and not since. Not to this day. More than a decade later, men named Cheney and Bush would again lead a rush to attack Saddam Hussein, predicting impending doom with little to prove it.